In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use AUM and ModStep together. This is a fairly popular way of using both of the apps, and what I'm essentially going to be doing is using ModStep as a sequencer and AUM as the mixer. So I've got a track sequenced in ModStep made up of drums, bass, and a lead synth, and I'm going to be routing the MIDI out of ModStep and into AUM where I've got all of my synth apps loaded. So I've got Core Gadget on the left channel that will handle the drums, Sunriser on the second channel for the bass, and Korg Module on the third channel on the right, handling the lead part. Now I'm going to show you how to route the MIDI out of mod step and into AUM. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to route the drums. I've got my beat sequenced here, and if I play it, we won't be able to hear anything. So what I need to do is to send the MIDI out of mod step and into AUM. To do this, I need to open up the MIDI input and output menu by tapping the icon in the bottom right corner. Now I want to change the MIDI out from no output to AUM and I'm going to keep the MIDI channel as number one. The next step is to make sure that the MIDI data is being sent to Core Gadget. I do this by opening up the MIDI routing options in AUM and making sure that the MIDI data is being sent from AUM destination and is being received by Gadget. The final step is to now make sure that Gadget is receiving MIDI from channel 1. To do this, I actually need to go into Gadget. I've got the drum machine I want to use set up here, and I just want to make sure that Gadget is receiving the data from MIDI channel 1 and only MIDI channel 1. So I just tap where it says All and change all channels to channel 1. Now, if I jump back over to mod step and play my drum sequence, we should now be able to hear it. I can also change the level of the track with the fader in AUM. Next, I want to set up my bass channel, so I'll go back into mod step and set up the MIDI output again. This time, I want to use MIDI channel 2. I'll set MIDI out to AUM again, and I'll just leave it on channel 2. Now I want to make sure that Sunriser will be accepting MIDI data from MIDI channel 2. Unlike Gadget, I don't actually need to go into the app. I can easily do this from inside AUM. If I tap on the three bars next to Sunriser, I get this menu. At the moment, Sunriser is accepting MIDI data from every channel. So I want to change this, and I can do this by changing the MIDI filter so that only channel two is selected. The last step now is to go back and make sure that the routing is correct. I just need to go back into the MIDI routing and make sure that the MIDI data is being routed from AUM destination to Sunriser at channel two. Cool, so that's all routed correctly now. Let's hear our bass in action. Finally, I'm going to set up my lead synth. So in mod step, I'm going to do the same again and send the MIDI data to AUM. But this time, I'm going to make sure it's being sent to channel 3. In the routing options in AUM, I want module to receive MIDI data from AUM destination. 
and I have to go into module, go to settings, and change the MIDI channel to channel 3. Now I'm able to play my track using ModStep as the sequencer and AUM as the mixer. So let's give that a listen. Awesome. So that's the basics of how you can set up ModStep and AUM to work together. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for our next AUM tutorial video.